hello for some time now it seemed like okay so in this place i've been staying for a few years now and um, at least two years into staying here about 10 years 11 year now yeah i've been thinking that um this the place the world is kind of like this VA hospital, you know, they call this Veterans Administration Hospital, where uh, people who have at one time, one time or the other served in a war are healing. You know, they come to these VA hospitals. This is a, a, this is a setup which is there in the US. At least I'm from a medical transcription background, so I know there are VA hospitals in the US. Um, I don't know where else they are, but because the company I was working from is the, um, based, based in the US. Um, so, and I was thinking, people are behaving like, you know, we are in different kinds of healing from the after effects of war. Humans are said to, you know, humans invented war, yeah, discovered war. And then since then, one or the other kind of, a little bit of repetition of the animal behavior, but, um, so the Kurukshetra is a, is a representation of the battlefield. Um, the battle field should be happening within us, where we are sorting out stuff and coming to peace within ourselves, where the world is peaceful. But instead, since we don't know that the war is actually happening inside us, we go and fight outside. Yeah? That has been the pattern. And um, so I was thinking, there are several, like in, like in our, any hospital, there are multiple specialties, including but not limited to psychiatry. Yeah? So our tendency to violate, for violence, is coming from different aspects of wounds not healed. You know, like if you have a wound in, on your skin and somebody pokes you on that wound, you will definitely react, fight, flight or freeze, yeah? So some of our wounds are not seen on our skin. It's in our emotions, it's in our nervous system, it's in our muscular skeletal system, it's inside. It's also sometimes in us, in the soul, that is wounded and we don't know how to heal those wounds or we don't know where those wounds are except when somebody pushes a button or rubs us the wrong way we react and one of the ways is by being violent it's just like when a wound is uh, not, that is not healed is pressed against you will react in some way so some of our reactions are coming from there and I'm, and I'm noticing this tendency for violence is different aspects of different expressions of wounds not healed. Um, so, um, so I'm like this person in the middle of everywhere. Yeah, I have a tiny studio home space. But I was thinking just a little while back that it looks like my house. I was just taking a picture and in hindsight it looked like my, my house where I'm staying is like a ward, you know, hospital where a physician or a nurse has taken up space to live in while they're going about their um, dharma which is about health care you know taking care of people who are not so very healthy so so it's like I have taken up this space I've been living here since some time researching in what is missing the presence of which will make a difference in us having being healthy, really healthy, wealthy wise. And uh, this has been going on, this is my 11th year here. And this is, this is my dharma, I'm doing my different activities to facilitate health in different levels um, for, pe for myself, people around me. Um, and now I have an enterprise um, with a school documenting findings, different findings and then um, solutions by which to help for us to actually heal from and have health, wealth and wisdom sufficient enough by which to be really healthy and so the wars are over, yes, well the wars are over and then uh, we are able to have a normal, ordinary, harmonious life. So I hope this gives you pause for thought, um, at least in terms of um, why either you or people around you may be reacting in many ways and maybe you will have a perspective by which to not react to the reaction and maybe have this perspective that maybe they are hurting in some way 
and hence reacted the way they do. Even if it's just this one little thought that, that has you pause instead of reacting back and then to reflect upon why somebody may be shouting, for example, or fighting in some way or creating irritated behavior in one way or the other. So that um, maybe the next word that you say or what you do next will be kinder so that they are able to experience, feel an ointment, a balm for the wound they don't even know they are having. Yeah? That w if one person, two person is able to, uh, a group of people are able to do this, then we have a lot of people finding solace from hurts they don't know how to address. And the world will be slowly becoming a better place. Yeah? Um, I will keep posting on my different social media, including but not limited to YouTube here. Um, thank you for listening. Love.